good morning everyone today uh, i will be looking into uh, how to check your equipment earthing uh, by earthing i mean if you look at the uh, so power plug of your equipment it may be either of these two types one is this three pin plug and the other is this two pin plug so we first we will go through go, go over the difference between these two where these are used and uh, how earthing is uh, related to the two types of plug and also after that we will see how to check whether the uh, earthing is done properly for your equipment especially i will be taking up the example of a pc a computer casing because uh, normally the computer casing has uh, a lot of leakage current i mean the body of the body of the computer case usually uh, gets a gets charged compared to other uh, equipment so the earthing is uh, very important for the computer so uh, we will see how to do how to check if the computer casing is earthed properly uh so because because this earthing is uh, important for uh, your safety as well as the equipment safety this topics merits uh, much attention but before going over this video i suggest you if you don't have a theoretical background of earthing uh, i suggest you to go over uh, my other videos in my channel uh, where i have the uh, this uh, discussed and uh, illustrated the importance of uh, earthing and how it is done so today this in this video we will be checking how how to make sure uh, earthing is done properly for your equipment by means of the power plugs so you can see here there are some equipments actually they have two pin plug you can see here for example this uh, iron box has a two pin plug it has no earthing even though obviously it has some metallic parts this uh, iron box uh, actually don't need an uh, earth pin uh, so that means uh, uh, it can use a two pin plug two pin plug means you can see here there are three pins here one is for a uh, face this is for face and this is for neutral and this is for earth uh, if you have watched my previous video you can understand what is the significance of this pin this pin actually will make contact a galvanic or a direct contact with the metal of the body of your uh, equipment and in case there is any short circuit between this line and earth it will safely bypass that current through this earth to the uh, Earth, through this earth pin to the uh, mother earth okay to the world to the uh, it will pass to the earth electrode that is buried in your uh, premises uh, consumer premises or at the transformer from where supply come to your premises okay now uh, for this earthing to work properly we can imagine that this earth pin should make a good contact with the uh, metallic body of your equipment and also there should be a continuous path from this earth pin through the wire to the uh, what socket outlet uh, where this plug is plug goes in and from that socket outlet it there should be a contact to there a continuous path to the supply Uh, distribution board earth point and from there to the uh, earth electrode and from there to the earth if uh, any of this path is broken or doesn't make a good contact then this is as good as not not earth so what happens is 
uh, in that case the system is not earthed and uh, so sometimes if there is any short uh, from between line and the body of the equipment you are using uh, and a person touches it he can get a good shock but even more importantly if you consider the case of equipments like uh, pc i mean the personal computer uh, actually there is a lot of uh, a possibility for a uh, earthing uh, sorry the leakage current between the body uh, on the body that means there may be always some charge or leakage charge which goes from the uh, supply to the body of the pc so this way you can understand if you sometimes if the pc is not earthed well if you touch the uh, body of the uh, pc uh, or even uh, other metallic parts like the usb ports you will get a, 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 a good tingle okay which may be enough to uh, show uh, what uh, give you a good jolt okay it can be even be fatal for small kids and all so it has to be uh, taken uh, kept in, in attention Uh, so to end this video we will be checking um, how to make sure that this earthing is done properly so that there is a good contact between the body of your PC uh, to the uh, earthing system. So first of all we will uh, go over uh, this type of uh, 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 plug as I said for this type of plug uh, even uh, you can see that this uh, in this case this even this uh, iron body which has a, a heating element and a metallic body doesn't need an earth pin so that depends on the construction of the uh, uh, electrical equipment so in this case it means that the system is uh, made in such a way that there is absolutely no chance of uh, getting a contact between the face and the body so uh, so this uh, this will be illustrated uh, on the body of the um uh, on the nameplate of this uh, equipment where you can see one uh, symbol this is called a double insulated symbol it is also called uh, <coughs> class uh, class 2 sim class 2 i think this uh, i believe this uh, equipment where which doesn't need earth pin or code class 2 and uh, you can see a symbol this uh, concentric uh, square symbol on that nameplate of that body which indicates that there is no need for any earth that means you can use a two pin plug but most equipment power equipment especially computer needs to be earth that means you have to use a three pin plug that is the main point main thing you have me main thing you have to keep in mind which you should take from this video uh, that is if a uh, equipment need earthing and if it is specified that uh, it needs earthing you have to use a three pin plug okay you don't use a two pin plug like this one okay so uh, in modern systems actually uh, the uh, the plug comes along with the equipment so there is no uh, chance of uh, missing that point but it, it is uh, uh, it is worthwhile to keep in mind that uh, the uh, the equipment which need earth has to use a three pin plug and also uh, more importantly the socket which you are using this three pin plug is earth well okay there are different methods of uh, checking whether the equipment is earth uh, while it is working but we will uh, take a small, very simple method uh, in this video to make sure that a equipment which need earthing especially a uh, pc uh, is earthed well okay by using a very simple method and you have to take corrective action if you find that the, earth, uh, the equipment is not earthed well so for that i will uh, take up a practical case uh, which happened to me uh, where i found that one uh, uh, one extension code i was using was not earthed properly and I noticed that there was a shock hazard uh, at the when I touched the when I happened to by mistake if I happened to touch the body of the PC if I touch the <coughs> body of the PC uh, I felt a, a good jolt so I uh, checked the earthing 
so we will go over that uh, video and uh, find out uh, how to identify this uh, uh, whether the system is properly author and uh, uh, first we will go through that video <coughs> this is the video i'm talking about you can see that uh, there are two extension code here this is the bad extension code i have identified as having uh, which uh, as having uh, not a good earth uh, so first uh, we will uh, give supply to the pc from this extension code and find what happens you may note that uh, i have uh, identified that uh, all, not all these sockets are having bad earth some sockets are having good earth okay we will uh, check one socket here okay so i am giving supply to this pc from this uh, from this uh, socket first and uh, let us see what is the result so so uh, i will be checking if there is uh, a shock hazard on the body of the pc by using a simple voltage tester So I am using a simple voltage tester here. So you can see that there is no uh, voltage. If there was a voltage, you could have seen a glow on the voltage tester, which, it, which you didn't see. Now let let me move the uh, socket to uh, sorry uh, the plug to a new socket, which I believe don't have a good earth. Now you can see here if you look carefully, you can see a glow is there. That means the socket is not earth well uh, so that means uh, the charge there is the computer system is charged and if you if i touch in the body any, any metal part here i will get a small shock you can see here there is a, a glow happening here Now I am checking on a third socket on the same uh, extension code. Now you can see that that turns out to be good because you can see that there is no glow. Even when I touch, there is actually no glow. That means I think I, uh, there is a uh, better thing or good thing in that socket. Now what I will do is I will uh, insert it back to the a new uh, uh, extension code which uh, I replaced uh, with which I replaced this old extension code and check the uh, status once again so I am touch, uh, checking the presence of voltage on the body of the uh, the, uh, the PC and uh, now I can see that actually there is no voltage percent that means that system is done well even if i touch if i happen to touch on the body of the uh, pc with my hands i am not supposed to get any um, shock so i hope you followed this video on how to what are the two types of plugs three pin plug and two pin plug and uh, what are the significance of the 2-pin and 3-pin where we use the both of them and how to check uh, in a very simple manner uh, even though it is not a very reliable manner uh, this is uh, especially significant while you are using PCs because PCs are sensitive electronics uh, and uh, also there is a possibility that you, you or your kids may come into contact with the PC body so you can may I have to make sure that the body of the PC is the well and this is a simple method for checking if the body is well by using a simple voltage tester hope you enjoyed your video so see you later